you know, I open up Steam, and the first thing I see when I'm trying to open up Game Dev Tycoon is on the Steam Workshop, there is a cheap mod thing that gets you a bunch of money in the game. I'm like, why is that even useful? Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, and welcome back to some more Game Dev Tycoon. As you can see, we're making money hand, hand over fist right now, because Nero Lands 2 is off the market. It sold 17,375,393 units, generating $690,854,377 in sales. Well done, your game, Nero City, has been your best game, and yeah. Oh, okay. It's going to let me know that uh, Nero City, which is our Gotham City game, Still has a rating of seven point or nine point seven five, which makes it the best game we've ever done. But uh, yeah, I thought it was funny. Like I go in to sign in uh, to this game, I start loading it up. The first thing I see, like when I'm going to load up Game Dev Tycoon, is this thing. It's like a five out of five star rating thing, and it's like you should get this mod. It makes you really rich. And like and I'm sitting here sitting at like six point two billion dollars, and it's like yeah, because it's hard to make money in Game Dev Tycoon. <laughs> Damn. I don't know, there were points. There were points where it was kind of hard, especially with, like, an MMO game. That stuff can be definitely pretty pretty tough, but, you know. I actually, one of the suggestions, and like, apparently we're going to go right to E3, one of the suggestions I got was for a Near Art Online game, and that game, I looked up, it's like Sword Art Online or something is what that's based upon, but it's an MMO game, and I don't want to make an MMO game, so we're not going to be making that one. But, uh, yay, there we go, Six, uh, 608,000, no, 6,082,376 people showed up to our booth at E3, which is pretty nice. Yeah, we don't want to make MMOs, we made a bunch of MMOs, and the thing about MMOs is, one, they hemorrhage money, which money's not really a big deal right now, there is not fun to do, though, because you make the MMO, and then inevitably it just becomes shit, no one likes it, and you gotta make expansions for it, and then, you know... Yeah, basically just remake the same game over and over and over again. So, I don't know, MMO games, stupid idea. Don't really have a lot of fun making those. But there are some awesome ideas you guys suggested. I'm, I'm going to see if it's possible to make this game real quick. So, we're going to go over here into genre. No, they haven't changed on the genre. Topic. And hacking. Nope. All right, well, I guess we can't. Guess we can't do that game. I got a really cool suggestion. I thought it'd be kind of a cool thing. It's called Nero May Cry. It's gonna be uh, based upon Double May Cry, and it's gonna be a hack and slash action game. But hack and slash is not a topic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know much about Double May Cry, so I don't know what else I would actually use for that. So I can't use that one either. So far, there's two really, there's two of the suggestions you guys put for me after the last episode. I can't use because one's an MMO and one says hack and slash. That's not even a thing in the game. So I guess we're going with Nero Isolation. Which is, uh, I don't even know what this is based upon, but it's going to be a horror space action game. So, that'll be neat. Let's, uh, I love the, I love the topic search. That is just, oh, I missed all horror. That is just so nice to have. So, horror, space action, I guess you can't make it a space and horror game. So, it's just going to be a horror action game. Uh, platforms, I guess we're going to be... Of course, in your box three and the PC, and this is an action game. So, which one of you guys likes action more? Looks like we both like action games more, but so we're gonna go with the Xbox next because it has 0.4% more of the market share. <laughs> business, 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 and start development. Oh, Johnny Joseph. Yeah, I don't even know what you guys were even talking about in the comments anymore. Because I, I do read all the comments on all these, uh, I guess really on all of my videos, but especially on the game dev ones where I like try and get suggestions for you guys. And, like, I don't know the games you guys are talking about anymore. That's it. I don't know what you got. Like, you guys say the like, Nero Isolation. I'm like, what's that supposed to be referencing? Or Nero Art Online. Like, what's that referencing? And then Nero May Cry. I knew that was Devil May Cry. But all the other ones is like, I don't know. Well, this is horror action, so engine gameplay and that. And um, all right, so I got actually one of the great, one of the great comments already. It kind of reminded me of this something we figured out a long time ago, but we never actually. Uh, I forgot about it when I came back to the game. Was that left tree is usually gameplay, uh, right tree is usually technology based stuff, then the middle is just kind of whatever. And so, engine is definitely going to be design based things, which we have Paul Reed there. And yeah, yeah, I think that looks looks about good. Looks about damn good. That's what that looks like. We're just gonna go ahead and get okay right there. Was the last game an action? 
Nero Advent Ah, Nearlands 2. I think that was a action adventure game, so it's probably gonna have a lot of the same ba uh, basic things as action games. Yeah. Probably gonna be about the same. Like uh, tree wise, like everything's probably already gonna be in place for this game. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? We gotta go over here and start a project and marketing campaign. Yeah, marketing campaign. How am I supposed to do this? Hi, this is Arnie Kunkel of Electric Games. Got Word Neuropolis working on a new game. Would you want to share some information on your current game project? Do an interview about it. What is your expectation regarding the success of Nero Isolation? Do you think the game will be well received? Of course it will. This is Neuropolis you're talking about. We only put out the highest quality content in our games. Because our games are of the highest quality. We got we got, we got got such legends in the gaming industry like Irene Jordan and Clinton Harris and Paul Reed who sips his coffee and Wyatt Potter. and we, We're legends here at Neuropolis. Pure legends. Alright. So everything... Oh, so artificial intelligence is bigger and level design needs to be lower. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so this is a tech-based thing. This is not a... I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Right now, Clinton's over encumbered, so we got to figure out... Level design. You'd think that'd be under design, right? It makes sense. So let's just bump you up there. So now we got Clinton doing three. Yes, yes. We got Clinton doing the three. Then on the two, we got Irene there. Yeah. Yeah, that's I think that's what we actually found out after doing the after like the report on Nearlands 2, wasn't it? That AI is very important. I don't think we knew that last time. Or maybe we did, I don't know. Alright, let's go. Shit piss cunt. I think I messed that up. I mean Clinton wasn't a bad choice. Clinton is like all around good. Like he's good at both design and technology, but I should put Wyatt there. Wyatt's way better at technology. <sighs> Why? Why me? Hopefully, whatever we have on the right is important for stage 3 development. Oh, in stage 2, we should uh, market with a large campaign. Yes. We need more marketing. It's like we can't afford it. <laughs> oh man, we're 128 years in. That's crazy. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I hit I hit I hit the water cooler. I'm thinking it was like Hearthstone where I could like hit it and like interact with it and maybe it'll do something that just opens up a screen and doesn't do anything. Alright, so graphics and sound are important, but world design is not. Awesome. So put them wide over there. And yeah. Yeah. We can use Jonathan Joseph really for anything, but that's okay. Wait, why is Man oh, oh, I'm sort of thinking like, why is Manuel freaking out? It's because we need to put Manuel there. Then we need to bump. Yeah, do it that way. So it's 100, 100, 100, 80, 20, 100. Perfect. Well, we kind of screwed up in development stage too. I mean, it wasn't really a screw up because uh, Clinton Harris is good at both design. Where's my mouse? Where it is. It's better at both uh, design and technology. But Wyatt is really good at technology, and so it would have been, I think, a little bit better if we had him on uh, Development Stage 2 working on that. But we didn't get that, so what are you going to do? You can't change your past, you got to live with it, man. you got to live with that, and take the 7s and 6s that we're inevitably going to get for this game. Hero Citizen. <laughs> I get it, that's supposed to be Master Chief. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, we have time for a convention? That's actually perfect, because uh, by the time we're done getting all the bugs out and stuff, maybe the convention will be here. That'll give us a nice boost to our hype before we actually release Nero Isolation. Yeah, get rid of all them damn bugs. We didn't really, we didn't really do anything real great in both design and technology, and that kind of stings. Yeah, there's our event. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'll give us enough, enough hype. That this game could just sell on a type alone, like a lot of games that come out now. <laughs> That's very topical, as you said right there. It's very good. All right, six million hundred twenty-nine thousand eight hundred seventy-six people showed up. Not too shabby. Number one booth for like the seventieth straight year, and now our hype is up to seven hundred nineteen. I want to finish, but I know they're gonna try and squeeze a bug in there for no reason. Stop it! Oh, I hate these guys. I just want... So bad do I want to hit finish, but I'm not allowed to. They won't let me. They won't let me. Look at that. They just keep adding. 
collect stuff and collect bugs. I want to add stuff every time. I, every time I have the urge to add something. There, there, right there, right there. I was about to click it. I was about to click it. I was about to click it. Oh, I was about to click it. Mm. Clicked it. All right, we got it there. Just so we started losing our damn hype. They really try and get those bugs into you, man. But we had not a uh, decent amount of design, not really good in technology, which I guess that technology probably would have hit. Hey, I leveled up to level 13. That technology probably would have been over 1,000 if I would have put Wyatt in that development stage, too. I'm seeing some 10s. And here come the 7s I told you we would get. Because we always seem to get 7s. We get 7s for literally everything, it seems like. Ooh! Someone a hero gamer really struck their fancy. How do you go from two sevens to two nines? How does it make any sense? Those are okay. I mean, I guess it's not as outlandish as say like a you know, they rate a four, he rates a four, then these two guys rate a nine. I guess that wouldn't make any sense. One of the best, great, nice experience, and beautiful. So the fact we got two nines in there probably gonna get a lot of sales. And I am going to start generating the game report. As funny as it is to have Irene do it. You just got word near isolation has racked up a million sales. As fun as it is to make Irene do it, it just takes a very long time and ultimately wastes, a, wastes time because I have to have her do it and I gotta wait for her to do her vacation and stuff. I guess it's just better to send them all on vacation. An exclusive interview a while ago, a player from Neuropolis made very bold remarks about their then in development game, Nero Isolation, predicting that it would be uber successful. Now that the game is out on the market, the consensus is a player was spot on as the game has received very positive reviews. Overall, this had a positive effect on sales. So, I guess we're, uh, it would have been a waste of time, I suppose, to do it that way. So, I guess better do it this way. We racked up 5 million in sales in three weeks. Not too shabby. Oh, crap. I, I think. Uh, Oh, uh, that's not what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? That's not what I'm looking for. I guess you can't set the price of the game when it's already out. You can't change the price of it, maybe. Release details. I haven't looked at this stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This goes ahead and just shows you so many things. Like, it's like a freaking spreadsheet that I don't know how to get out of. Let me out of here. Oh, there's a close button up there. <laughs> Yeah, you can find some really detailed information about like literally everything you do. Besides how to play the game, because... <laughs> and what technology and design all actually mean. Alright, we got word in our, our Nero Isolation recently, which was recently released by Neuropolis, has racked up 10 million in sales. Alright, truly deserves to be called AAA. You're damn straight, you're damn straight. Wow, it's taking him a very long time to do this. Come on! It does take a very... Maybe, maybe I should start training them more in speed. Some people say they train, but... I don't know. It's about training. It doesn't seem fun. post race analysis of near isolation is complete. We've got the following results. Engine is very important in this type of game. Interesting. Additional insights. We should focus your entire team in the project. Shut up, nerd. <sighs> nerd, nerd, nerd. Alright, new game time. This is kind of a cool one. Not sure what it's based on, but I think it could be a cool game because I don't think we made anything like it. So, Kerbal Nero Program. Don't know what that means. Actually, I have no idea what that means. Uh, apparently, it's going to be E for everyone, and it's a space simulation game. Whatever that means. <laughs> so, it's like a space program game thing? I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be something, though. And we're going to put it for Nero Box 3, of course, because that's my box. We got the PC, because it's PC. And now, who likes simulation games more? Look at that there. PlayStation 5 loves simulation games. They love them. So, we're going with that. Uh, I picked the wrong engine, didn't I? Oh, I didn't pick an engine. <laughs> that's why I'm like, oh, so we're going back to 2D graphics, are we? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do 2D graphics, I Maybe we should make a game with. We should make a throw. Oh, we should make a throwback game with like 2D graphics. We should do that. That should be a thing. Oh, we should totally do that. All right. So gameplay, I think, is totally gonna be design based. I think engine, since it's on the left here, is totally design based. So we put Paul there. Let me throw me here. Then he bump me up there. There we are. So you do that there. Yeah, real nice. All right. So far, so good. But dude, we should totally do that. I think that'd be funny. I don't know. What game would we make, though? Like a Pokemon game? Like uh, a Mario game, maybe? 
Is platformer even an option in this game? I don't think they are. No, no, they're not. What would Mario be considered then in this game? It's not a sim. It's not an act. I guess in Game Dev Tycoon would it be an action game? Because there's like action, then there's adventure and RPG simulation. I'm trying to think of the different genres. There's only like six genres, when in reality there's like freaking so many genres in the real world. All right, uh, near isolations off the market. It sold 19,100,355 units, generating us $343,806,610 in sales. All right, beautiful. Uh, game price. Oh, it's set to 18 credits, so I didn't make us that much. We're going to make us a $15 game because I'm not worried about making a ton of money. And it seems like the kind of game that should only be worth $15. A space simulator game? I don't know. Uh, start project and marketing campaign. All right, AI and low design, very important. All right, so AI, that's tech based. We need your boy Wyatt. There he is. And level design. And I'm not sure, I'm sure he's sure it's design, but what's kind of cool with this, we can put Clinton Harris there. He's good at literally both design and technology. We put him in there, and everything works out pretty good. Yeah, I have no idea what this game is. Kerbal Nero Program. I'm sure it's like space program. Kerbal. 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 I have no idea. <laughs> Never heard of this game. I would like a large booth, sir. That would be great. Large booth to promote our game and have all the people, like 6 million plus people show up to hear about our new space game, our new space sim. We need more space sims in the world. Actually, everything in gaming now is more or less going to space and going to a futuristic route. Which is, I mean, even Civilization is going with a futuristic space version, which I'm not even, I'm not even sure I'm excited for um, Civilization Beyond Earth. I mean, I kind of like the idea of it. I've seen some stuff on it. I'll, I'll probably get it and play it, but I'm just not sure if I'll like it as much as, as I would like playing, like, just regular Civilization V, you know. All right, hi, this is uh, Roland Keane from Smash. I got word in Neuropolis working on a new game. Would you willing to share some information on your current game project? Do an interview about it. What is your expectation regarding the success of Kerbal Nero program? Do you think it will be well received? Yes. Yes, I will. Hype my game. Hype my game. Hey, Nero Box 3 up here is about to hit 10 million sales. So, that would be cool. I'll be using this game. 6,177,376 people showed up to our our little, our, our little hoot nanny. And we're the number one, number one booth again. What's that, 70, 70, 76 years in a row now? Something like that. God, we are so damn popular. All right, there's a clear trend towards RPGs. Great, great, great that there's a there's a trend towards RPGs right now. I'm about to release a space simulator. It's awesome. Thank you for uh, putting out the RPG, jerk. All right, sound, graphics, world design, not as important. Yeah, sound's going to be pretty important in a simulation game, I suppose, because it's all about the graphics and the sound. So who do we want to work on the graphics, which seem like a... Oh, I don't know what those actually would be... Clinton's done. We can put Manuel there. Yeah, get Manuel there. He's 300 in design, 300 in tech. Not too bad. Wyatt completely over encumbered, but that is a tech thing, which Jonathan Joseph is good at. And Irene's good design, which is world design to design thing. So there we go. 80 20. Look at that there. Beautiful. Beautiful. God, we are so good at what we do here at Neuropolis. This is absurd. It's for me, boy. That game is a pain. <laughs> See, for me, boy, is very, very tough. I even tried to record uh, a little bit of the series, but then, like, it just wasn't fun because I'm sitting there getting stuck on the same level for, like, 20 minutes, and it's like, this isn't fun. It's not even fun for me to play, let alone fun to watch. So, <laughs> so I didn't, uh, I ended up posting Super Meat Boy, but I did play it. did play it, but it's a really hard game. Really, really hard. This is a lot better. This is a lot better. Look at the design and tech points that we're getting here. For this game. I think things are going really well. Look at the amount of hype even. Look at the amount of bugs even. <laughs> That's an absurd amount of bugs. But with all those bugs, man. God that hype. I've never seen I don't think I've seen hype get that high. Okay, this game could be very popular. <laughs> this game could be really popular. Will we hit fifteen hundred in tech and design? Time will tell. Once you fix the bugs, you know they gotta sit there and put in a million things. 
Yeah, we're gonna hit. Yeah, we hit 1500 in tech. And for design, nah, maybe. Is it possible? I mean, oh, they're going awful quick. Maybe might be able to get it design. Oh, it's looking good for design. It's looking good. We only need seven more. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Five more. No! Fuck you guys. And we get two bugs thrown in there, even though we broke our record for freaking tech points, but those bugs will probably freaking ruin it. Maybe they don't, I don't know. Our reviews for Kerbal Nero program came in. Oh, look at that. We could have gotten tens, but there's bugs. Eight. Space Sim. Great combo. Eight. They're focused on AI service so game very well. Eight. Play it for days. And seven, because we're all games and we don't like to be like everyone else. Ah. So, dude. <laughs> I think uh, I haven't released a ton of games that actually have bugs in them. But fairly, fairly positive. I'm fairly positive that it's gonna like something's gonna pop up. It's like there are too many game breaking bugs in this, and we need to fix it. And then we've racked up a million sales. Then we need to fix it. Then fans are like, oh, they support their game. We love them. And then we'll have a slight boost in fans. I think that's how that works. Uh, Saying all you nerds on vacation. Job well done, minus the throwing bugs in at the end. Can't I just be like, all right, guys, the game's done. Nobody do nothing. So an exclusive interview a while ago, player from the Ralph Post made very bold remarks about their dent in development game, Kerbal Nero Online, predicting that it would be uber successful. Now that the game's out on the market, the consensus is that player was spot on as the game has received very positive reviews. Very nice. Very nice. All right, now track to 5 million in sales. Damn, I gave out a lot of hype, too. I wanted to capitalize on the hype, because I was like, wow, we have a lot of design points, we have a lot of tech points, I would like to get this out with the most hype possible, but then it uh, has bugs, so. And it's got 10 million in sales. And now the market's normalized. Now, now was even with, uh, I was even with the market be having a trend towards RPG games rather than space simulators. <laughs> Which, I don't know if there's ever really a clear market trend. Like, I'd say in the real world, though, that there is a real world trend towards futuristic games like um i don't know you look at call of duty stuff which i do a lot of you look at black ops 2 and call of duty ghost and advanced warfare that's all futuristic based stuff you look at uh, civilization beyond earth you look at titanfall i don't know a lot of stuff seems to be really futuristic based lately well, at least the games i like to play all right post-release analysis of Kerbal nero program is complete and we got the following results space and simulation is a great combo world design seems to be not very important for this type of game Ah, well, you know what? I'm not going to pick one of those. I am just going to press escape and do this. That way, maybe when I load up for next episode, we can actually have a, uh, actually be able to have the event happen and get the hype from it. Or maybe it won't work that way. I don't know. But regardless, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of the Game Dev Tycoon playthrough. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves. And of course, let me know in the comments suggestions for different games. Uh, when you leave a suggestion for a game, don't just like leave a suggestion for like the title of the game or something like that. You should put um, like what we had here with like Nero Isolation. You want it to be a horror action game or with the Kerbal Nero program. You want it to be a space simulator. You want it to be eat for everybody. You know, stuff like that. Make sure to do that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all. Have a wonderful day.